Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best camera for beginners. Starting at number 5. Nikon ZFC. The Nikon ZFC is, without a doubt, the coolest looking camera on this list. It's a retro-styled mirrorless machine with dial-based controls, and it's a joy to handle, to use, and to be seen using. Internally, it's basically the same deal as the Nikon Z50, with the same APS-C sensor and processor and many of the same specs. A few extra features like a built-in flash have been shaved off, and it is more expensive than the Z50. So if you don't care about aesthetics then Nikon's other DX format camera is the smarter choice. But if you're the sort of person who can't resist the siren song of the best retro cameras, opens a new tab, the Nikon ZFC will be right up your alley. That's around 3 MP less than the 24 MP sensors in most APS-C rival cameras, while the likes of Fujifilm and Canon can offer even higher megapixel counts in some of their mirrorless models. Even so, 20. 9MP is still more than enough resolution, while the slightly larger individual sensor photo sites should, in theory, improve the ZFC's low light performance and dynamic range. The ZFC also gets the Z50's excellent 209-point hybrid AF system, equipped with eye detection for humans and animals. Nikon has slightly boosted its low-light performance relative to the Z50, as the ZFC can now focus down to minus 4. 5 EV, where the Z50's system was sensitive to dash 4 EV. Both cameras share the same, highly respectable 11 frames per second max continuous shooting speed, along with identical 4K video recording capabilities. That means the ZFC can record UHD 3840 by 2160 footage at a max 30 frames per second and does so using the full width of the sensor, so your 4K footage isn't cropped to a narrower field of view. Coming at number 4. Canon EOS Rebel SL3 slash EOS 250D. This isn't the cheapest DSLR you can buy by any means, but very often it's worth paying a little extra money to get a much better range of features, and this is the perfect example. The EOS Rebel SL3, aka EOS 250D slash EOS 200D Mark II, has Canon's top-of-the-range APS-C sensor with 24. 1 MP of resolution and brilliant live-view shooting. Thanks to a fully articulating touchscreen display and Canon's fast dual-pixel CMOS AF autofocus. In fact, would actually say this is one of the only DSLRs where composing shots with the screen is downright preferable to using the viewfinder. Canon also packs in 4K video wrapped up in the smallest DSLR body you're likely to see, though if it's specifically video you're after, one of the SL3's mirrorless rivals will probably do a better job. 1 megapixel APS-C CMOS sensor is combined with the powerful Digic 8 processor for amazing performance and results, and the EOS 250D lets you channel your creativity with functions like 4K time-lapse movie and creative assist. Wherever you are and wherever you go, the EOS 250D camera makes it simple to capture stunning photos and videos to view and share. At number 3. Sony A6000. Although it's now 6 years old, the A6000 is still one of Sony's best entry-level cameras, especially as it can often be had with some decent discounts. It significantly undercuts the newer A6100, A6400 and A6600 models on price, while being pretty much in the same ballpark for stills photography. With its diminutive compact camera styling, and access to Sony's range of interchangeable lenses, it's a small body that packs a big punch. Resolution from the 24. 3MP image sensor is very good, though the one for 40K. Dot resolution of the electronic viewfinder is a little weak by today's standards, and the 921K. Dot tilting screen feels quite cramped too. It lacks the ability to record 4K movies, and it doesn't have the high-tech AF of Sony's latest A6000. Series cameras. Hybrid AF with 179-point focal plane phase detection and 25. Contrast detect points built in Wi-Fi and NFC. Up to 11 FPS continuous shooting, compatible OS, Windows Vista SP2-8, Windows 7 SP1, Windows 8, 
Windows 81, Mac OS X, V106, V109. 3-inch tilting LCD with 921,000 dots compatible with Sony E-mount lenses. OLED electronic viewfinder with 100% coverage and 14 million dots. SD slash SDHC slash SDXC and Memory Stick Pro Duo, Pro HG Duo Memory. Number 2 of my list. Nikon Z50. Despite its small size, the Nikon Z50 has a good grip and good external controls, and the retracting 16 to 50. Mmm. Kit lens is remarkable not just for its pancake lens dimensions, but for its overall performance. Key selling points include 4K video, 11 frames per second burst shooting, and the fact that its Z-mount is identical to that on the larger cameras, so you can use dedicated Nikkor ZDX lenses, full-frame Nikkor Z lenses and regular Nikon DSLR lenses via the FTZ adapter. Best of all, the Z50 is terrific value, especially when bought as a twin lens kit. However, long after its launch it still only has three native DX format lenses, so that's a disappointment. It means you're stuck with using older DSLR lenses via Nikon's FTZ adapter for now, or bigger and more expensive full-frame Nikkor Z lenses, which are limited for wide-angle photography, because of the smaller sensor's crop factor. Compact, lightweight and durably constructed mirrorless camera. Built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth for simple pairing to a smartphone. Selfie, flip-down touch LCD screen, great for self-portraits and blogging. Compatible with Nikkor Z lenses. Also compatible with F-mount Nikkor lenses using the FTZ mount adapter, sold separately. And number 1. Olympus OMD EM10 Mark IV. With a new 20MP sensor, incrementally improved in-body image stabilization and a new flip-down and tiltable monitor, the Olympus OMD M10 Mark IV has plenty to shout about. Retaining the 4K video and attractive styling that made the Mark III so attractive to consumers, the Mark IV is a great choice for anyone looking for an entry-level camera that can do pretty much everything. This is one of our favorite pint-sized cameras ever, it's small enough to carry around anywhere, and much more powerful than it looks. The OMD EM10 Mark IV is a camera that could be with you for a long time to come. The Olympus OMD EM10 Mark IV also has a variety of shooting modes, including Auto, SCN, Scene, AP, Advanced Photo, and Art Filter. Meanwhile, as you would expect in a camera like the Olympus OMD EM10 Mark IV, there is Wi-Fi and Bluetooth built into the camera body as well. Check out this video description for latest price and more informations. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.